Good morning, AgGrad Nation. My name is Thomas Shaw, an intern with National FFA at the 90th National FFA Convention here in Indianapolis. And today we're going to go behind the scenes to learn a little bit about the internship and what goes on behind National FFA. But first, we need to show you something kind of cool. We're here with Mark Peschel. Now, he, we've been talking a little bit off air, and, and you're really excited for this event uh, every year, but uh, what's it like to be back in Indianapolis? You know, we're excited for the break. That's right. We're in the, actually in the second year of a nine-year run here in Indianapolis. Great city for us to have our, our convention in. Uh, great facilities, state officials, city officials are so welcoming, and all the volunteers who help us. It's just a remarkable place for us to get. You know. Hey guys, sorry for the brief introduction this morning, but it's been a long morning. Once again, my name's Thomas. I'm taking over ag grad today, and I'm a senior at Ohio State University where I'm studying agricultural communications, and I'm currently serving as a newsroom intern within National FFA for the 90th FFA convention. To most people in Indianapolis, this is Georgia Avenue, but this week it is FFA Way, the connection between the Indiana Convention Center where Expo and the Career Fair is held, and Bankers Life Fieldhouse where all the general sessions are held. FFA Act. So a little bit about the internship. I am a radio reporter for National FFA and I am going out and collecting stories about what's going on here at convention, stories of FFA chapters from around the country and uh, putting them together on an online database for the public along with radio broadcasters from around the country to pull off and use in a broadcast uh, about National Convention. So radio reporters were gathering here as well as other media and this room is literally right off the stage where convention happens. A lot of cool things is going to be happening today so be sure to stay tuned and literally we are right on the stage. So I'm here with Christy Meyer of National FFA, who is the communication manager. Christy, what's your responsibilities here at convention? So my responsibility is making sure that we tell our story to all of the media outlets, not only in Indianapolis, but throughout the country. So listen to your radio, watch your morning shows, and hear what great things we're doing at FFA. So where are we at right now? Right now we're backstage. And what's going to happen back here in just a couple hours? In just a couple hours, we're going to have opening session where we'll get greetings from dignitaries and get to hear from Layla Ali. Sweet, guys. So if you're not able to be here, make sure you turn in to RFD TV or simply watch out for social media on National FFA's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. See you later.
do a little bit of everything. So uh, it's been great. We're looking forward to the rest of the convention. Thanks, Logan. Don't forget, Secretary of Agriculture will be on Snapchat shortly, so stay tuned. Secretary Purdue, my name is Corinne Moreau. I'm a national FSA intern. I had a question. Uh, what is the USD, what is the USDA doing to ensure that agriculture education programs are going to be maintained in states, for example, the state of California? Uh, we're a big partner with our states, obviously. Uh, NIFA supports uh, a relationship with our land grant universities as well as our 4 H program and extension agents there. We're frankly in the uh, beginning stages of trying to develop a, within the Farm Bill, a program that does essentially the same thing with FFA. We think it would be helpful if we created an ongoing, consistent program that acknowledged the benefit of a partnership with USDA with organizations like FFA that first of all acknowledged them, provided for working internships, not just within USDA, but within US policymakers and other aspects of U.S. government there to utilize Thanks guys for joining me today as we went a little bit behind the scenes and learned just a little bit about National FFA's internships, but the experience here at National Convention is not over yet. That's right. It's Hannah from Fast Ag News. Instead of talking about the news tomorrow, I will be showing you more behind the scenes and anything else that you want to see from here at the National FFA Convention. Send us a message if you do want to see anything, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace out.